In an unused school classroom in the northern Syrian city of Aleppo, a former chemistry teacher has been showing volunteers how to deal with a chemical weapons attack. The group were taught how to put on gas masks and protective suits, and a drill was carried out in what was once the playground. 21-year-old teacher Mohammed Zayed also explained the effects of various chemical weapons, such as the sarin nerve gas, and how to help people suffering from an attack. However, with finite resources, they have just three gas masks. The realities of a chemical weapons attack could be devastating. Syrians living in a Damascus neighborhood have started making gas masks at home by using basic materials such as cotton and coal, which are then distributed free to residents in the area. The cost of each mask, estimated to be around $1.50, is being covered by individual donations from local people. Across the border to the south, Israeli citizens have also been rushing to pick up gas masks after the chemical weapons attack in Syria. The government has set up distribution centers across the country to supply each person with a mask. Meanwhile, Russia and the United States continue to haggle over the process and time frame for removing Syria's chemical weapons arsenal. The US says the Syrian government used chemical weapons on August 21, killing over 1,000 people, although Russia contends that the attack was coordinated by Syrian rebels seeking foreign intervention.